Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'm here with... Excel is fun. Mike Gervin. We're at Highline Community College. You know, every week Mike comes up with these problems, and I think he does it just to try and make my head spin. Um, holy cow, this one is insane. So here we have this string, A-G-G-T-A-C-C-G-T-A, and there's a lookup table down here. A's get a value of 1, C's get a value of 1, G's. We want to add all that up. Hey, I didn't make this up. This is straight from someone at YouTube. I think it was a scientist or You're something. You're making this stuff up, man. This is in insane. So I know, you know, Mike's working on Control Shift Enter this book, and he's gonna come up with some array formula. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm weak here. I'm going straight to VBA insert module. So Powerful, gonna, you mean? <laughs> function, um, uh, function. Uh, this is gonna be called uh, uh, sum by ch lookup and we're going to pass it two things we're going to pass it the the text string uh so that's uh just uh, my text comma and then the array that we're going to look up so we're going to uh i'll call it l table l table how's that uh so we're going to start with sum by ch lookup is equal to zero that's in case we don't get any hits at all and then we're gonna have a loop for i equals one to the length of my text Oh, that's cool. And this character is x equals mid of my text, comma i, comma one. And then we need to do a VLOOKUP now from VBA. They don't have VLOOKUP in VBA, but they give us this great thing called application.worksheet function. So we're going to say y is equal to application.worksheet function dot, and you always hold your breath right here, hoping that they put it in, because not all of them are in, but this one is in. Yay. All right. Good. So we're going to look up the x. The uh, table is called L table. That's what got passed. Uh, and it's second column, comma, false. We're going to hard code those little bits in. And actually, as I think about this, I don't need to assign that to, to y. I can just kind of increment this variable as we go. So we're going to say that is equal to that plus this. Next, uh, and that's it. When we're done, whatever's in sum by ch lookup gets passed back to Excel. So my text in L table, let's give it a try here. Equal. There we go. Good thing that they, uh, that is a really hard formula to remember. So it's that, comma, and here's our lookup table here. I'm still going to press F4 here because as I copy this down, I need it to work. Uh, so zero, and we'll copy it down. Okay, now to make life even. Oh my heavens, that is amazing. To make life even worse. Whoever this person at YouTube is, and I, I am not knocking this person at YouTube, but their, their situation is, they need to change these numbers to the word zero, over zero, or under zero. So I know that Mike wanted me to put a formula over here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go Control One, and Custom, and the way that this works is, what to do if it's positive, semicolon. What to do if it's negative, semicolon. What to do if it's zero. So if it's positive, I want to say over zero, semicolon. If it's negative in quotes, under zero, close quote, semicolon, and then if it's zero, zero. There we go. Click OK, and all of those numbers are going to change to those words. And oh, e e look. even though they're words, I love that they're still numbers. I can still add those up. All right. Oh, that's funny. You had to copy the formatting down. But if it's just regular old formatting, um, it will continue to work. I love that custom number format. All right, Mike, blow me away with an array formula. Oh, yeah, but you just blew me away with VBA. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. And then the custom number formatting. All right, um, this actually is quite a, a hard one. Uh, the, the first problem is we have text in a cell, so you literally need to extract each individual value, then do the lookup, get all the numbers, then add them. So I'm going to start with di each different formula element. This first formula element will extract all the individual pieces. Now, row gives us all the rows. Indirect takes text that represents a reference and give, uh, converts it back to a reference. So I'm going to say in double quotes, one colon, in double quote, and join that to the length. Hey, wait a second, Mr. Excel. You use the len function too, I did, right? Yeah, same function. Right? So what that's same doing. Number is it's creating a row reference, one to whatever that length is right there. And that's a text string. If I F9 it, the indirect will convert it back 
to a reference, and then the row will give us the rows 1 to 10. All that does, F9, that gives me 1 to 10. That is going to be an array that helps us to extract using the mid. Hey, wait a second, you use the mid too, yeah, right? Hey, all right? So I'm going to say the mid of that, comma, and that's an array function or a function argument array operation. It's going to, because that array right there has 10 values, the mid function will deliver 10 values. And I'm going to say length 1. It's looking just like that VBA, right, but a lot more complicated. F9, there we have, we've extracted those. That's the first part. Now we need to do lookup adding. And since, oh, we don't want log, we want, we don't want <laughs> logo. There's no logo function. Now, because this table here is sorted, the lookup function I'm going to use is, is lookup. That lookup uh, value, remember, it's giving us a bunch of values there. So that's an array, a function array operation. So it's going to look up all those things at once. And here's the array. That's this part right there. So now if I close parentheses, the way array, function argument array operations work, since I gave that a bunch of values, lookup will spit out a bunch of values, F9. There they are. So now I need to add those. Great, that's an array. So I'm going to put it inside of some product. Now that'll give me the total, right? And so that's the same total. We could do that. We could do that, uh, but we need to lock it. Now I'm going to highlight that little colon and F4, Control-Enter, and double click and send it down. Now I could use that custom number formatting, but how about this? I'm going to use the Choose function, which is a lookup function, and choose between under 0, 0, and over. But I need 1, 2, 3 as the index number for Choose, so I'm going to from that use the sign function. What does the sign do? The sign function simply gives a negative 1 if it's under 0, 0 if it's 0, and 1 if it's positive. So now I'm, I want to ultimately use the choose function. I need 1, 2, 3, so I'm going to add 2. two. Nice. So now great. I have for the choose index number. That's exactly what it needs. Now the cool thing about choose is you simply can type your lookup values right in the formula. So I think they want uh, under 0, if only I could type fast, uh, 0, that'll be 1, right? or 1, that'll be 2, and double quote, and then comma over. And there we go. All right, that's cool. Wow, I am so glad that VBA is in Excel because I don't have to try and figure out that formula. Well, I'm so glad that the formulas do what they do so I don't have to figure out VBA. <laughs> All right, everyone's happy. All right. But they did look similar, mid, lookup. You know, it started out similar, but then when I used VLOOKUP, you used lookup, and then you had to use choose and sign and some product and all those other things. So uh, there you go. All right. Woohoo! Oh, hey, I'm sure we'll be back next week with another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. All right.